it is no secret at all, I've definitely played 2K a lot less this year. That's certainly for the fact that, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of things, you know. 2K had a tough task to you. They had to drop two games in one year during the span of a pandemic, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like they did a pretty good job. I, for one, was not expecting them to care about last gen, and they actually did. I mean, 2K21 current gen is not the best game, don't get me wrong, but I mean, like, it's, it's fun to me. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna be talking about NBA 2K22 because I feel like 2K has to hit the mark this year, and a lot of the community feels the exact same way. Today, ladies and gentlemen, not only am I gonna tell you guys what I think is gonna make NBA 2K22 a better game, but I also tweeted out, got some stuff from the community, or also asked Game Chat. I'm gonna show you guys in game in portion where I think. 2K's like missing the mark for real. First things first before we even hop into a game. We gonna hop into a game. Ever since 2K18, I think the whole community's been asking for one thing. You see these courts? Separate them! All right, the neighborhood concept was cool in 18. It was better in 19. I was disappointed in 20 because we were cycling from 19 to 20. But now at this point, I, I think especially with the city, I think we know having the court separate from where the stores are, I think we know that that is what helps people get games. I have a 2K logo, right? So I, I, I'm i able to get back to my games. But like you see these extra two courts right here, I feel like these courts are not being played because there's people that are just walking around the Gatorade stand doing emotes, I don't know. Having these things separate like they were in 15, 16, and 17, I think legitimately will help the player base be able to play more games. Because respectfully, the city is super cool and I like it a lot, but I think there should be the entire city, but when you go into a door, that like that door is to straight play basketball, all right? It can still be three different affiliations. I'm a fan of affiliations. As a matter of fact, I wanted to come back for a long time. Hey, show me my 19 wish list. But I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know everything, all right? Because I don't. I want to know, most importantly, what do you guys want to get to me into? Comment down in the comment section. I'm sitting this out to some people. I want to see some people. I've had a lot of changes, not even drastic changes. And now we're hopping into a game, all right? I'm gonna show you guys in game mechanically what I think is, is wrong. I'm doing this on current because in next gen, there's a, you know, there's a lot more that's wrong. Davis, 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 Davis. Oh, wow, it's in the morning, buddy. Hey, what's up with y'all? What's up with you guys? Hey, so, hey, so honest question. Real quick, what do you guys wish was in NBA 2K22? Talk to me. Uh, I don't know. I never, th I never thought about that. Okay, for one, these guys right here are talking to me. I know they want to talk to me if I was just walk around the park. Proximity chat. If it's annoying, I can be able to turn it off, but I think that's super important. Here we are right here with dribbling. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Tell me why an exploit is the best dribble move in this game. Screens are killing me. Oh my lord. You think you get hit? Talk to me, big man. Talk to me, big man. On a serious note, the fact that the speed boost exploit is, in my opinion, the best move in this game is kind of a problem. There's still good moves in this game, but I feel like on 2K every single year, they just take a move out. Like, they make a move less, you know. I want 2K to add some more explosive dribbles. This man is cool. Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me try to work out. Let me try to work out. Let me try to work out. Hey, let me ISO, big man. Let me ISO, big man. Y'all better not help out. Hold on, let me see. It's been a minute. Let me see if I'm rusty. Oh. Yes! oh. Nice. One thing they did do good in current gen is they added these these new green light animations. I like that. Switch on me. God, but God, God, God. I jump, I jump. That's great. That's great defense, my boy. We out. We out. And and I'm dunking on him. And I'm dunking on him. Oh, speaking of that, we need new dunk animations. All right, ATT, I'm extremely excited to see what you guys got for me. Let's open this thing up. Oh my goodness, this was massive. AT&T, y'all showing the kids some love. AT&T, outstanding ballers, royalty, hashtag AT&T, outstanding ballers. I'm Davis, number 32, they got the number right, of course. You love to see it. I'm Davis, you're proven a king of the digital court. Props on representing the 2K community. Welcome to outstanding ballers, royalty. Keep grinding and wear your crown with pride. You earned it. Your friends at AT&T, I hey, appreciate that, guys. Okay, we got a fire cap. They hooked me up with a sweatshirt as well, okay. You love to see this right here. Oh, custom Atlanta Hawks with Iron Dick Golden on the back? Oh, With the snap. logo, dude. Hey, this is love oh, right here. Snap. And it's a PS5 controller. Yo, this is cool. It has my build on it, playmaking shot creator. Hometown Atlanta, Georgia, 32 point guard, I did. Yo, at and I really appreciate you guys for showing some love, because this is absolutely incredible. Oh, all golden controllers. Bro, I, I feel like it fits me too, it fits me pretty well. Not only are you an outstanding bar, but we've also heard that celebration is in order this week, I'm Davis. Hope you ball out on your birthday, have a great one. Hey, if you guys didn't know, it's my 21st birthday, June 3rd, it just came up. Shout out to at and for showing you boys some love. Oh, I I cannot get over how sick this package is. I really appreciate it, guys. 
I'm not gonna lie, I'm about to go ball out straight up with this controller right now, to be honest. Not only this, but AT&T also partnered up with your boy to give away a controller, all right? You can check out the exact rules on my Instagram and Twitter. The link is at the very top of the description. A free controller? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much to AT&T for partnering with me on this and supporting creators like myself. Respectfully, I'm not gonna lie, I could be wrong. I kind of feel like I've been doing the same dunk animations since 2K13. I I'm just being honest with you. Like, come on, come on. Yeah, why is he trying to cook me, bro? You're not that guy, pal. Trust me, you're not that guy. Yes, bro. Oh. Oh, oh, Come on, bro. Back into the whole dribble moves aspect. I genuinely think, I I'm happy I just cooked him, but I definitely want to be able to do more dribble moves. Like, for instance, that behind the back I just did, that should be a signature style. I don't think that should be the default behind the back for everybody. I personally think there should be more behind the backs. Aiden says, game launch as well. It's playable right away, not after a patch. A good park, obviously. Different animations, hairstyles, and in no way like Next Gen. <laughs> Next Gen got the content right. In my opinion, the gameplay is significantly better on current gen. Talk to me, Gob. Talk to me, Gob. Hold on, hold on. I ain't no way you catching the ball and be like, are we serious? Is that what we're doing? Okay, another thing, actual park size. I don't even think the current 2K community really knows about it because they haven't been in the game since really 16. You used to have specific moves that you could activate in park only that were actually really, really good. I'm not talking about the ones that make you spin on the floor either. These were actually moves that were specifically for park. They were speed boosting ones. Hey, we need those back. Talk to me. Now this one right here from Jacob Parker, I'm not 100% with it. He said, I'm speaking from current gen point of view, but a better contest system, affiliations, Rivet, Sunset, and Old Town. I'm not gonna lie, I could definitely go for, for Rivet, Sunset, and Old Town back just for nostalgia, but at the same time, I don't wanna hold 2K back, all right? I, the, like, I don't think we should be stuck in the same affiliations forever. I do miss it, so maybe bringing it back for one year would be cool, or maybe bringing it back for like, something specific. God, we got the strap? You got the strap? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, never mind, jump shot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh okay. No, 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 no. We're, we're not going out like that. We're not going out like that. We're, not, we're definitely not going out like that. I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. Need that. Talk to me, Goblin. Talk to me right now, bro. But this goes back to the whole concept of, of the game being ready at launch. You guys see, I just got my playmaking takeover right here. Anyone who's a long time sub or has been sub since launching this game, you're gonna remember when this game came out, you could not use playmaking takeover. You legitimately would not get an ankle breaker for months. They just, it wouldn't activate. That's what I mean. I need things like that to be ready at launch, too, okay? Whether you need people to play the game before it comes out, in my opinion, just those type of things make things work. This guy said new rewards. I agree. Okay, so to an extent, 2K, 2K is extremely creative with the rewards this year. A lot of people got upset when they saw the, what was it? It was like a Doctor Strange type board you could walk in. That's really cool. But in my opinion, if that's gonna be the top reward in the game, keep everything else. Like, there's no reason to get rid of the jetpack. I mean, even though I don't want the city, it'll be extremely cool flying around the city in a jetpack. Don't get rid of the tiger. Not even walk around the, the city with, you get what I'm saying? Just because we're adding new things doesn't mean we got to take away from the old stuff. That's just my opinion. I think 2K has the creativity. I mean, who would have thought of a Doctor Strange board? I think that's dope. Just keep the old stuff in as well. Bring everything back, add new things, keep adding on so it, it feels like a new game and not like, not like old things we love are getting replaced as well. And boom, we're on next gen. What, what? Y'all good? Hey, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I liked Next Gen when it first came out. The content seems there, and as a content creator, how could you not like a city full of content, all right? But on a serious note, I really do like Next Gen. In terms of content, in terms of what they did, it's super cool. Where the mark was missed, in my opinion, is that 2K is trying to go for a super realistic simulation basketball game, which makes sense, but it doesn't make sense in the park. How differently the 5-on-5 five -five players and the NBA player versus how they play in like a 3v3 type setting. It's significantly different, I'll tell you that. I literally think if that's what they're going for, there should be two different type of, almost not even sliders, two different types of gameplay. Like the speed in Park should be significantly faster than it is in 5v5, dude. You get what I'm saying? Park should feel like something more arcadey and in lit, which they went for here, but not necessarily with the German movie. The German movies in this game, how you say it? They weren't there! Overall though, this was a cool concept in my opinion. I personally still think these courts right here, there should be a door to go into them. So like these people right here walking around, they're not the reason that people are not getting games. Cause even though it's early in the morning, don't get me wrong. 
You, you see what I'm talking about. A lot of these courts are not playing at all. Yo, Davis, I just sent you one, bro. All right, Ben, let me see. Let me see. Let me see what the people are talking about. Bring leveling up back to my crew. Okay. <laughs> and the guy got ratioed. He said, never too late to delete this, my brother. I'm liking that. That's a fact. <laughs> no, I mean, my personal opinion, I would not like people to be able to get park rewards in my career. I was not a fan of that in 18 and 19, right? I personally don't think that should be in the game, but hey, that's just me. Look what cat put, bro. No, that's a good, that's a good point. How can I forget that? A season pass is actually a legitimate idea. Imagine this, all right? Imagine you buy a season pass and you have access to a whole separate park and they drop different parks throughout the year. Say they drop three, four, five different parks throughout the year. And people with the season packages have access to that. That's dope. But in my opinion, if you do that, 2K, then you can't have the, the prices of, of VC be super high for players because then people are going to be spending money on season pass. You, you get what I'm saying? You have to choose one or the other. I, I personally think a season pass would be a dope concept. Y'all see, even with the logo, I just no games, respectfully. Hey, but that's honestly it, man. I really want NBA 2K22 to be a good game because I miss grinding. I'm trying to stream. Regardless, though, I've been grinding super hard on my second channel, it's there. We're at 130k. We're literally it's been going crazy. Every video we get like 150, 180k, 200k plus has been extremely crazy. And once again, I want to give a massive shout out to ATT for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like myself. Hey, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for all the support. It's really amazing. And uh, hopefully, to get listens, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right, peace.